Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Today I've got a very special review to do for you. Um, this is something that I've had a lot of requests to do, but I've only literally just picked this item up today, so what better time to review it than now? Um, before I give you a look at the figures, I'm going to actually give you a look at the packaging that they come in, because um, it's a multi-figure pack and uh, I don't want to you know, show you each one individually before I even start the review. So, the item that we're going to review today is this one. The Republic Commando Toys R Us exclusive multi-pack. Now this is something that was first released back at Comic Con in July, and uh, a lot of us at first, you know, grabbed it at, when we first saw it at Comic Con because we thought we were never going to get the chance to own these guys again. Um, so some of us got quite a shock when these guys appeared in Toys R Us, especially us in the UK because we're always the last to get everything. Um, so to say that these have only just hit our shelves. Um, in Toys R Us in the UK is just awesome and I'm really glad that we uh, UK collectors received them. So I'll give you a rundown of the packaging first. Obviously at the front you've got the main image of the Republic Commandos or Delta Squad in action. You've also got the Republic Commando name tag at the front of course. Um, you've got a very cool sort of cardboard scenario in the back which I think is taken from the game or from concept art for the game or something like that. And then on the back, you've got all the information about the pack and the figures included, and uh, each of the characters is pictured across the back. So in this set, you do indeed get a Geonosian Warrior. You've also got Republic Commando Scorch, Sev, Fixer, and Boss. And each of the figures included in this set are all um, upgrades, both in articulation and deco, from the Saga 2006 Republic Commanders that were released and that were as rare as Okinos poo <laughs> nearly said something else there um, so yeah it's great that uh, Hasbro have given us another chance to get the Republic Commandos and upgrades are always welcome so to kick things off with this review we are going to take a look at Scorch first as he is the only Republic Commando that I've owned prior to this review um, I will also give you a rundown of each commando's duties in the game. Um, according to the packaging, Scorch is the wisecracking demolitions expert. And he's got a very cool colour scheme to boot that duty. Um, black, yellow and white, very very cool. Um, as you can see, each Republic commando has that awesome blue T visor on the helmet and each one has his own fair share of battle damage and weathering on the armour. Um, in terms of weapons, Scorch comes with a rather hefty weapon, which is nicely weathered as well. As you can see it's got that sort of gun, bolt gun metal finish on it. Various scuffs and stuff, looks very nice. And as you can see he comes with his own unique backpack as well. Um, in terms of articulation, each Republic Commando has a ball jointed neck, Ball hinged elbows, shoulders even, um, ball hinged elbows as well there, um, swivel wrists, a ball jointed torso, swivel hips, ball hinged knees and ball hinged ankles, so great upgrades. Um, I believe the previous Republic Commandos had swivel shoulders and they also had no articulation from the hips down, um, so these are great welcome updates. So there is Scorch. Next up from Delta Squad we have Sev, who according to the box is the squadron's hunter and marksman. And that's pretty evident with the amount of Geonosian warrior blood that he has caked all over his armour. As you can see he's got it all over his helmet, all over his arms and all over the legs as well. Various splashes of Geonosian blood. Very very cool looking indeed. Um, Sev is probably one of my favourite Republic Commandos, at least in terms of look. Um, I haven't played the game that much, so in terms of each Commando's personality, I'm not entirely sure um, what each one is like, but uh, going on you know, first impressions, Sev is a really cool looking Commando in my opinion. Not only does he have a unique blaster, which is once again very nicely weathered, but he also has a unique backpack as well. And uh, on the side of that backpack, you've got a rangefinder that can be posed up and down. Um, due to its shape and uh, decoration, it actually reminds me of the uh, the giant rib 
um, that is attached to uh, the Flintstones car um, in the opening titles when the car tips over, um, which has been parodied in various episodes like Family Guy and stuff like that. And it just <laughs> reminds me of that. You know, you could just imagine Sev falling over because of this thing that's attached to him. Um, but yeah, not to take anything away from Sev, he's a great looking figure. Absolutely love the deco and once again has the same amount of articulation as Scorch. So there we have Sev. Next up in Delta Squad we have Fixer, who is the team's expert no, sorry, the team's tech expert and computer hacker. And as you can see, Fixer has a very luminous green colour scheme to his armour. Various green flashes all over it. Um, he comes with the same blaster rifle as Sev, but uh, he does indeed have his own unique backpack with what looks like some sort of aerial or something like that attached to it. I'm assuming that's something to do with the uh, tech element of his duties or the uh, computer hacking element of his job. Very cool looking helmet as well. And once again, the same amount of articulation as the previous two. So there we have Fixer. And the final member of Delta Squad is Boss, who is the tactic... What the hell does that say? Tacti turn leader of Delta Squad. I don't know what the hell that first word means, but uh, there we go. He's the leader, apparently. And uh, I think, aside from Sev, Boss is definitely my favourite commander of the pack. Um, just the overall colour scheme is just awesome. As you can see, he's got all these various orange flashes all over the armour. And he's just the most prominent looking commander, I think, um, just because he's so colourful. Really do like it. Um, he does have the same blaster as Sev and Fixer, and he has the same backpack as Sev, although the rangefinder is missing from the side. And once again, he has the same amount of articulation as the other commandos, and just in case you've forgotten, um, he has a ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders and elbows, swivel wrists, a ball jointed torso, swivel hips, ball hinged knees, and ball hinged ankles. So super articulated. And overall, a very look, cool looking clone commander. So that's all the members of Delta Squad. So once again, just to give you a look, we have Fixer and Boss. And we also have Scorch and Sev. So four very awesome clone troopers. And uh, as I mentioned before, you do of course get some uh, target practice for the Republic Commandos. And that comes in the form of a very green looking Geonosian warrior. Now, in my opinion, this is probably the weakest figure of the set, just because of the colour. Um, the figure itself is great. It's actually a repaint of the Saga 2006 um, Sun Fak, who uh, also appeared in the Republic Commando video game. Although he's been given this very sort of green colour scheme and he just looks a little bit too bright. Um, fits in well with the other commandos. Um, looks very computer generated if that's what you want to call him. Um, but yeah, he could have just been a little bit darker and he would have looked a lot better. Um, in terms of accessories, he comes with a sonic blaster. And of course he does have the posable wings on his back. Um, which are a little bit sturdier than the Clone Wars Geonosians. They're made of a lot harder plastic and they don't fall off the figure as much. Um, and he also has that very ornately decorated chest piece as well. And in terms of articulation, this Geonosian has a ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders and elbows, swivel wrists, a swivel waist, swivel hips, ball hinged knees and ball hinged ankles. So once again, a super articulated figure. And uh, I believe it's eBay Sell Tungore who's got quite a few of these in stock on his eBay store. So once again, if you want a full squad of these to rival Delta Squad, then definitely pick up a few more of these guys from him. Um, that's probably what I'll be doing and setting up my own little uh, Republic Commando scene. And overall, this is just a highly recommended pack. 
and something that I would definitely grab up on site. Um, I believe the Republic Commando set is packed one per case, whereas the other set available in this video game line, which is the Force Unleashed set, is packed, I think, around two or three to a case. So, obviously, the Republic Commandos are going to be the most sought after and the most hard to find figures from these two sets. Um, no doubt I will pick up the Force Unleashed sets at some point soon as there's some cool figures in that set as well um, but obviously this was the, uh, the priority choice for myself and many other collectors <clears throat> so just to refresh your memory in this pack you do indeed get a Geno Zoom Warrior you get the Public Commandos Sev and Boss And you also get Scorch and Fixer, all of which are great figures, and this is certainly a pack I would recommend picking up. Once again, I would definitely grab this set the first time you see it, although if you're not bothered about the packaging, um, eBay seller Tungore is selling each one of these loose, so uh, get onto him for your um, fill of Delta Squad. So I hope you enjoyed this review, um, this was something that I couldn't wait to bring you guys and I hope you've enjoyed it. So until my next review, which will be on the Vintage Collection Y-Wing vehicle, stay tuned for more and until next time, keep collecting and may the force be with you.